Okay, I'm out in the Welsh mountains and slightly different video today. I want to talk antennas. Now, if anyone is interested, by the way, this is GWSW003. Uh, I'm just at the base by the reservoir. Um, I'm probably going to embarrass myself here, but Van Bridgini, or I think that's how it's pronounced. I'm, I'm probably completely off with that if you're wondering which mountain this is, but that's aside from the point. What I want to talk about today is antennas. Now, I previously put out a video about the slidewinder coil and military whip saying is that the best antenna for SOTA and uh, I, I said it was a good contender quite possibly. Um, I want to show you another option today. This is a half wave inverted L. Now I've used this quite a lot in my previous videos but I've not actually done an up close look. Um, so in terms of what is the best antenna they both have their own use cases. Um, the slidewinder coil and mill whip is ultra lightweight very quick to set up and doesn't take up a lot of space so if you're on a SOTA summit which doesn't have a lot of space or has a lot of other hikers that could be the answer but on the flip side it is a compromise so the inverted L is shall we say much much less of a compromise it's a full size antenna but it takes up more space so you get better performance from it but possibly not the best option if you're on a busy so to sum it. So that's the premise of this video. I'm about uh, half, maybe three quarters of the way up. Just got the uh, steep ascent over there to the summit. Then I'll uh, pull the antenna out and uh, give you an up close look at the antenna. At the summit, and uh, I've done the usual thing. I've uh, moved a little way away from the uh, summit market set up. And uh, there is a shelter there, but I didn't want to take over the shelter just in case anyone else wants to use it. it it's a nice day anyway. Although you see the clear blue sky, uh, we actually had a bit of an inversion. So there's cloud down behind that cliff there. So I, I think uh, I might find myself in cloud for a little bit as the uh, cloud base lifts and the sun burns it off. But uh, I'm not too worried about that. So let's have a look at the equipment then. So the antenna itself is these two things here uh, just one of those that's uh, that one's an n-fed half wave for 40 meters uh, also good on 20 we we'll probably also do 10 actually I've not I've not actually tried that and my second antenna wire this one this is a half wave for 60 meters so I've got a choice of bands there I can either do 40 and 20 or I can do 60 so uh, two options there seven meter spider beam mast and the way I guy it is I've got an old uh, uh, Jubilee clip hose clamp, depends what part of the world you come from. And uh, I put a little bit of uh, rubber around there, a bit of aquarium tube, uh, just to protect the mast and some guy rope on there. That's how I hold the mast up. And then uh, four temp heads. So I, I guy the mast three ways and then uh, because I've got an inverted L, I use another peg to peg the wire out. A bit of coax cable, that's uh, RG8X. Um, doesn't really matter at HF frequencies um, what you use for such, such short runs. And a 49 to one. Um, this bit of wire on here, to clip to earth, you don't really need. It, it might work as a counterpoise, but that's on there because I use that as a, uh, um, for my kite antennas so that's how I ground my kite antennas but uh, it's just been left on there so that uh, 49 to 1 is really overkill for what we're doing today you can get much smaller ones but uh, it's what I've got it it works at the end of the day right so let's get this antenna set up then so spider beam mast take the cap off I'll put that somewhere safe just lob it in the top of my, my bag down there top section out and bottom section out so then when that's extended that gives me something to grab hold of there uh, guy ring just going to slide over the top there make sure that these are fairly equally spaced and slide that down so you can see how that's going to uh, guy the mast out Right, so you can see I've now got my mast guide out three places, guide in three directions. I've got my uh, half wave piece of wire here, which these are kite reels, by the way, in case you're wondering. 
it's just a easy way of uh, wrapping up my uh, antenna and keeping it neat in uh, in my bag and uh, I've got uh, a, some guy string on the end there and you see here I've got a bit of aquarium tube you'll you'll see where that comes in in a minute but what I've done is on here if I reel this out until I get to somewhere there's a little bit of there we go a little bit of uh, black electrical tape on there if you can see that that is so I know where the top of the mast is so I put that um, just at the top of the mast and that's where it bends off to make the L so this section I've just pulled out is the vertical and uh, the rest is the horizontal so it's easy to adjust the mast and what I do is take my uh, little piece of aquarium tube here slide the wire through it until I get to that bit of black tape that I put on there then slide that over the top section of the mast like so and then I know that when I extend this mast the feed point for the 49 to 1 will be right at the bottom of the mast or it'll come to just below the guy ring here right so I'm going to take my bit of wire here I'm going to uh, attach it to my 49 to 1 and my coax and I don't know how well you'll see that on camera but on that bit of rope on that bit of guy rope there I've got a loop that goes over the uh, connector and then uh, coax goes onto the connector it just provides a little bit more support so that the whole weight of the 49 to 1 isn't hanging on the uh, antenna wire then uh, undo that stick my uh, half wave wire on there Of course you have to be careful not to drop these uh, wing nuts out in the field especially when you've got cold hands and there you go I just uh, wrap it around the mast a couple of times just so it stays on the mast so it's not flapping around And that'll just hang there like that. Right, so all I need to do now is take my reel of wire and uh, peg it out away from the footpath. Now, ideally, you want to peg this into the wind because uh, it's not too bad today, but when the wind picks up, the wind's going to try and blow the mast that way and the mast is going to bend in that direction. So you can actually use the tension on this wire to pull the mast back up vertical. So uh, I generally try and take this into the wind and there you go, the antenna that you've seen so many times before on this channel. So ignore that little bit sticking up out the ground there. That's, uh, that's the other camera that I used to film it. Uh, 49 to 1 feed point there. Coax goes into the radio, which is in my bag there. End fed halfway up to the top of the mast and then back down over to here. And it's pegged off down here. I put the... Uh, reel over the peg just to give it a little bit more visibility there aren't many people around here anyway so hopefully nobody will trip over it a little bit of a guy rope just to get it up off the ground and there is where the wire ends and uh like i say just uh trimmed it to resonance on 40 meters also works quite nicely on 20. right just a quick editorial then i'm bound to get someone to ask about the swr so uh, on um 40 meters. This is with the tuner turned off, so I've uh, got no tuner in here at all. MW0 GQC portable test. So about 1.5 to 1. And if I go up to 20, again, uh, no tuner. MW0 GQC test. So again, about 1.5 to 1. And the other thing I just noticed, if I go on to 60 metres, now this antenna is not resonant on 60, and uh, as you ex would expect, the uh, SWR is sky high. But if I put the tuner in, MW0 GQC test, I can actually get it to work 
with a sensible SWR, with a very low SWR actually. So uh, instead of changing the wire over, I might actually just try 60 in this configuration and see how it works. Calling CQ, standing by for any calls. Uh, summit to Summit, go ahead. Okay, I've got Mike 5, Romeo, Juliet, Charlie on Golf Whiskey Bravo uh, 0, 0, sorry, say that number again. Uh, Whiskey Bravo 0, 2, 2, Okay, Okay, Oscar November. Oscar November 4th, Mike Golf Yankee Portable. Okay, Oscar November 4, Mike Golf Yankee, a portable, about 5.8 with me, 58, over. Thank you for the 5.8, you're sure it's a 5-line, the 5-line, 53 foot, 53. That's it. Mike Zero, X-Ray Sierra Hotel, portable. Uh, Mike Zero, X-Ray Sierra, oh, I think that was a hotel portable again. Yes, Roger on the call sign, that's correct. Name's David, operating in police on the east coast. You are five and eight. Okay, so really nice little run on uh, 40 metres there. I think it was 22 contacts in about 15, maybe 20 minutes. So that was a quite nice little run. Let's see how well this works on 20 metres. Sierra 57, India Lima Foxtrot. Sierra 57, India Lima Foxtrot. Uh, Sierra 57, India Lima Foxtrot 59. Okay, Sierra 57, India Lima Foxtrot, you come in 3 by 3, 3 by 3. Roger, 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 thank you for the contact, 7 3. Sugar, my 5 Lima, okay, thank you, thank you. Uh, Sierra Mike 5, Lima, November, Echo 59. QSL, Sugar Mike 5, Lima, November record, good morning. Thank you for 5 by 9, you are 5 by 9, over. Roger, Roger, thank you for the 5 9, thank you for the contact, 7 3. Thank you. Hotel, CQ Summit's on the air, standing by for any calls. Delta Juliet 5, Alpha Victoria. Uh, Delta Juliet 5, Alpha Victoria 5 9. Roger, you are 5 and 7, 57, have a nice day. Thank you for the 5-7, thank you for the contact, 7-3. Summit, Summit, Mike Whiskey, Zero, Golf, Quebec, Charlie, Portable, Summit, Summit. Okay, I'm going to take the Summit to Summit station first, go Summit to Summit. Hey, hello Fraser, Mike Whiskey, Zero, Golf, Quebec, Charlie, Portable, MW0, GQC, Portable. I'm on Charlie, uh, sorry, I'm on uh, Golf Whiskey, Sierra Whiskey, zero, zero, 003, Fraser. Okay, QSL on uh, Golf Whiskey, Sierra Whiskey 003, and uh, my summit reference is Charlie Tango 3, Mike India 006. Uh, you're about 5-5 five, five to me, you're doing really well. Uh, Mike Whiskey 0, Golf Quebec, Charlie Portable from Charlie Tango 9 slash Mike 0, Echo Fox Trot, India Portable, QSL. Okay, so quite a nice little run on 20 metres there, that was uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten contacts in five minutes. So that's uh, quite a nice little run. It went a bit quiet at the end. So uh, I think now I'm going to go on to 60 meters. So I'm going to uh, swap the antenna over, change the wire, and uh, see if I can um, make any contacts on 60. Golf India 4, Oscar Sierra Foxtrot. Uh, Golf India 4, Oscar Sierra Foxtrot, uh, good morning, 5-9 on this band. QSL, I think you said 5 and 9, you're a little bit low to me, about 5 by 3, 53, over. Roger, Roger, copy the 5-3, yes you are, 5-9, five, 5-9, nine, five, nine, over. Roger, 5-9 received, thank you very much Minnesota, and uh, enjoy the rest of your day, 7-3. Thank you very much for the contact, thank you for the chase. 7-3, uh, QRZ. Call Sierra, Romeo, Quebec, Lima. Golf Zero, Romeo, Quebec, Lima. Morning again, Don, you're 5-9 uh, on this band. Yeah, Roger, Roger there, thanks for the 5-9. And, and you're not allowed on this one, uh, James, thanks for 
five by nine. Um, you're just about peaking the five nine, but 40 metres this morning, on, um, you know, unusually, was a little bit better than 60 metres, and normally 60 metres comes through quite well. <laughs> I just thought I'd give you a report just to let you know, but uh, a bit quieter and, uh, and just making the five nine, not uh, booming in like you were on 40. Thanks for the day, mate. Seven three, and take care there, uh, James. Good to work. You're on a couple of bands, Roger. Yeah, thanks, Don. Uh, 40 was really good this morning. I think it was about 22 contacts in the space of about uh, 15 minutes, which was uh, quite a nice run. Uh, the antenna's a bit of a compromise on this band. I'm using Nenfed Half Wave for 40 metres, so uh, it's uh, the SWR's a bit high, but I'm tuning it out with the uh, internal tuner on the ICOM 703, so uh, the uh, radiation pattern's probably... Uh, well, it's probably still fairly omnidirectional, actually, but uh, I'm probably getting quite a bit of loss in the uh, coax due to the uh, high SWR. Go ahead. Yeah, Roger, all understood there. Yeah, that, that would obviously account for it, mate. I know when I used to go out with the motorhome and I used to uh, uh, use a G5, um, a half-size G5 as a compromise with a tuner, with an external tuner, used to make it all right, but the audio was never as good and never as loud. Yeah, all understood, mate. Yeah, well, it's worth it, mate. It's always worth a go uh, just to add those extra bands, isn't it? All the best, James. Thank you. Okay, so look, it, it worked on 60 metres. I only made two contacts, but to be completely fair, as I said to Don on that last contact, I think uh, a lot of that had to do with the fact I did 40 metres first, and 40 metres was pretty good. I worked uh, a lot of the G stations I would have normally worked on 60, I worked on 40. So uh, I don't think we can attribute that to the antenna, although it is definitely a compromise on this band. It's not designed for this band, but... It worked. Right, so let's set up this antenna then. So take the lid off the top of my uh, spider wing mast and it's got a little bit stuck on there from where it got wet last time. 